It is currently 7.05 this morning, and it is also a very special day at the Shelby County Courthouse. Today, the courthouse is a century old. Fox 13's Earl Farrell joins us live downtown with more on this building's history. Hey, Earl. Good morning. Yeah, we're here right in front of the Shelby County Courthouse with Jimmy Ogle, who is knows probably more about downtown or the history of downtown than anybody I know. And a fact that's in this book that's part of the program, that if you come today at 430 for the ceremonies and the speeches, you'll see a high school band play, oldest high school band in America, from right here in Memphis, Tennessee. Christian Brothers High School, CBHS. 1871 they played for some kind of a ceremony. Well, they started in 1871. 1876 they played at the Fountain Dedication at Court Square. The 1892 Frisco Bridge opened. This is not the same group of uh, individuals. I don't think so. <laughs> But that's, uh, that's amazing. Oldest high school band in America. Great tradition. Pat Patrick Bolton's the uh, director of the band. And, of course, a part of the ceremony today, we have Walter Durham, who's a Tennessee State historian. Uh, both mayors will be here today. A lot There's of rain or shine. Rain or shine. We were here yesterday planning with Joe Braswell and Steve Satterfield of Shelby County Support Services. We've got an indoor plan, an outdoor plan. So rain or shine, free admission. So there'll be a tent right out here, on the, which is the south side of the building that we're on right now. And uh, but the band eight what 1916 played right here where we're standing right on, right on these steps for a parade that was here at the time. So yeah, it, this is just a great setting here, you know. And of course, right behind us, you see this tree here was planted at the 75th anniversary, our state tree, the tulip poplar. So it's 25 years old by Steve Satterfield, who will be here today, one of the workers. And uh, interestingly, that is the only piece of shrubbery around the entire courthouse. It's a state tree, so it's great be. shrubbery. And then we'll talk about the sculptures in a few minutes. Coming back, we're talking about. The sculptures that surround the courthouse. Very interesting story there. So we'll tell you about that coming up. Stay with us live downtown Earl Farrell, Fox 13 News. Currently 734 and a major milestone for a downtown Memphis landmark. We are talking about the Shelby County Courthouse, which turns 100 years old today. Fox 13's Earl Farrell joins us live downtown with more. Hey, Earl. Hey, uh, I got to tell you, I'm a little tuckered out. Uh, <laughs> Jimmy Ogle took me on a really quick tour of the courthouse, went all the way to the third floor, which is where the law library is. And this is open to the public. It's our law library. You can go there. It's your Shelby County Law Library, open five days a week, Monday through Friday, 8 to 4.30, 60,000 plus volumes, free Westlaw, free Lexus Nexus. You can't and, check any books out. But, but you can go there, and uh, right here on this bridge, this walkway, catwalk, is actually where Tommy Lee Jones stood in the movie The Client. That's correct. Meeting. One of the scenes was there from the client, yes. And then these display cases are on the, the right behind us, the columns you can see behind me. There's a hallway where Jackson's bust is on display. These display cases are there, and they have a lot of memorabilia in there, including uh, a whole thing about the movies that were made here at the courthouse. There were five movies uh, or in recent times. The Client, The Rainmaker, People vs. Larry Flynn actually used the modern courtroom to and, film here. And there's a picture of James Carville. I looked at it <laughs> and said, that guy looks familiar. He goes, that's James Carville. He was in the, what was the, the uh, people versus Larry Flint. Flint. Yeah. yeah. Now, the display cases, there were four. Part of this effort is raising money, it's upgrading the graphics. Icon Archive Company did all the good work for Carol Drake. And so there's more on display of old documents and pictures and a more professional graphic system there in the hallway. And you also took me to the Supreme Court. Uh, there's a Supreme Court room up there. There's an antique room, uh, which is, this is the flooring. It's actually rubber uh, flooring that was put in how long ago? 1909, without glue. Geometric tiles. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's like a big, giant jigsaw puzzle. Put it all together. This is what it looks like. But you'll be able to see all this today. It starts at 430. You're going to have a big tent set up outside. There'll be speeches. The, uh, the, the high, oldest high school band in America, Christian Brothers High School, will be playing here. Speeches from politicians, mayors, proclamations. The Tennessee State Historian will be here. A group of judges and obviously lawyers will be here. Great gathering. And you'll be able to bring your camera in. We're on the very few times you can do that anymore. So keep that in mind. And it's free. they got free refreshments, too. Absolutely. A cookie for you if you come today. So we'll tell you more. We're going to talk about these statues right behind us that were all very, very unique in the nation. And this is uh, this is as good as any monuments or any buildings in Washington, D.C. It's a real treasure here, and we're going to show you more coming up. Live downtown, Earl Farrell, Fox 13 News. It is a special day for Shelby County Courthouse. Today, it turns a century old. Fox 13's Earl Farrell is live downtown with more on its history. Hey, Earl. Good morning, Chris. Nearly dead. Uh, we... Jimmy does these walking tours all the time, Jimmy Ogle, but uh, I'm not used to it. We were making these fast tours around the courthouse, and it's a city block, and uh, we, we went around and, and looking at all the statues and what are really unique about them, other than the fact that they're just incredible works of art. Mm -hmm. 
but they were all carved each one out of one big hunk of Tennessee marble. These these six statues you see, you see here behind us. We got wisdom and justice. We got authority and liberty, prosperity and peace on the sixth side of the building. One block of Tennessee marble each. You know, it's the largest of the kind in the country. It costs about five thousand dollars each. A Scottish sculptor did them. Uh, Massey Ryan, his name's on the pieces there. Were they sculpted here or someplace else in Broad? Outside in Broad here, and then the names were put underneath there in, in 1934 to identify each one of them. And then, what do you call the things on the on the top of there? Yeah. I call them pediments. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, you got six pediments all around the, the tops of the building uh, on the second Adams and Third Street side. Uh, they represent the different aspects of law: criminal, civil, uh, statutory, Roman, common, and religious. Now, when you go to New York City or go to Washington, D.C., you see a lot of this kind of thing. But in most cities today, you, in in this country, the United States, you just don't see craftsmanship like no, that. No, this will never be duplicated again. Of course, this was 100 years old. And you talk about the seven different kinds of marble inside the building from four different states, the Tennessee limestone on here, the, the single blocks of marble. There's just no way. The granite in the building. Uh, and, of course, on the Washington side, there's six other figures as well that represent uh, integrity, uh, courage, mercy, prudence, tem- prudence, temperance, and learning. There's a story about all them. All things that are very close to me, as a matter of fact. Uh, it's your middle name, I That's think. That's right. <laughs> yeah, all this, uh, you're going to be able to come see it today starting at 4.30. They're going to have a big ceremony right out here on the south side of the building. They're going to have a tent set up. Uh, they'll have beverages. Band. Bring your camera. The uh, the Beaches. Christian Brothers Band, the oldest high school band in the nation, will be here playing. They first started playing for ceremonies like this in 1871. Is that close enough? 91? 76. Before my time. I wasn't there. Jimmy was, and he remembers it well. But it's going to be a a great thing to come see. You'll be able to go throughout the courthouse and see the Supreme Court that's here. You'll be able to see an antique courtroom. You'll be able to go to the law library where some movies have been filmed. So don't pass up this opportunity to come celebrate a, a real treasure in the city of Memphis. I want to thank Jimmy Ogle for being here. You'll be able to see him this afternoon. He and his volunteers will answer any questions you have and take you on a tour of this incredible building downtown. Well, I'm downtown, Earl Farrell, Fox 13 News. Well, can I get a quick second? Can you hear me? Can yes, I can. Me? Yes. I'm hearing in the studio Hello? that they actually had thoughts of tearing that building down at one point. Could you ask Jimmy if that is true? Curtis wanted to know if at one time there was some thought of tearing this building down. There, there was never any thought. They did a big remodel in the 1960s and covered it up a lot, but then they decided it was such a great building and so, in such a great use that uh, they wouldn't want to tear now, it down. Just west of here is the old police building, uh, which there was some talk a couple of years ago about uh, refurbishing that and making that a, a viable building again, but the cost was $18 million then. And it, was, it was too, too cost prohibitive then. It was vacated in 81 when they built a big new uh, Shelby County Justice System yeah. over here. So there's quite a few buildings around here and a lot of space. But uh, there's a, a lot going on here. You need to come down and check it out today. Starts at 4.30, rain or shine. That's it from here live downtown Earl Farrell, Fox 13 News.